Come with us for our first international flight experience. So after battling a long US postal visa process for three years, my visa was finally issued and it was time for our son and I to relocate to the US to join our daddy. So on the D-Day, we had my family see us off at the airport. We got there in good time and it was time for check-in. I chose to have my bag wrapped and they charged me 1,000 Kenya shillings per bag. I had five suitcases and the baby, so luckily I got a very kind airport staff who helped me with the check-in when he saw me struggling. The check-in went smoothly. They asked me for my passport, visa, and the plane ticket. They also asked me for the address I'm going to in the US. After checking, I decided to go to the washrooms just to see what it looks like, and I was pleasantly surprised to see a whole bathroom. Like you can land and shower. Wow. Now, for perspective, my son and I have been on a plane before, but domestically within Kenya. This first international flight made me feel like I've never been on a plane before. I was humbled, and the experience is so different. So anyway, it was time to board, and we left Nairobi at exactly 1 a.m. We were flying Qatar Airways and the plane was massive. The seats were very comfortable. They do give you things to make you extra comfortable like blankets, socks, a pillow for your back. And Mikey, our son, was given some toys and coloring materials to keep him busy. We were also served with food that I enjoyed but I ended up vomiting the next day. I don't know why. After five hours and some minutes, we landed in Doha. I was happy that I didn't have to go through immigration checks, so as a first-time traveler, I would advise you use UAE Airlines to avoid the need for transit visas. They also offered to check in one of my hand luggage since I had two, so this made me more comfortable. It was finally time to board the second plane from Doha to Dallas, USA. I forgot to mention that we had two seats, mine and our babies. It's a rule for all airlines that kids under 24 months will be on a parent's lap, but over 24 months need their own seat. There's no huge difference between the prices because my seat cost us $1120 and our son was $938. So we got comfortable on the flight because this was going to be a 15 hours flight. Our son chose shoes he liked and he was really having a good time. We were well fed with three meals and a snack on this flight. Our son didn't like any of the food except for this sandwich. I decided to go see what the washrooms in this huge plane looked like and it was tiny but functional. I however ended up embarrassing myself because I first didn't know how to open the entrance door and two, after I finished my business, I didn't know where to flush and I was trying all the buttons that there was. I ended up pressing a button and all I had was an air hostess quickly rush into the small room and asking, mom, are you okay? I had to quickly say yes and then hold Hold my breath because I didn't know what I had done. Wow. <laughs> anyway, after many hours, we landed in Dallas, USA. Now, this was not our last destination. We still had one last flight to where my husband stays. That was a short one, just 30 minutes. So on landing, we had to go through immigration where the line was so long, but I was given priority because of the baby. My visa was checked and I was sent to a room at the back for further checks. I was made to sit in that room for 20 minutes and at this point, I was freaking out. But later on, an immigration officer came with my passport and told me all is well, I can proceed. So one thing I didn't know is I needed to pick all my bags. The guy who helped me check in in Nairobi told me I'll get all my bags at my final destination. But that's not it. At your point of entry in the US, even if you have another connecting flight, you are supposed to pick all your luggage, go through the checks, and then check them in again. This caught me off guard and ended up eating into my time. My layover was 1 hour 35 minutes and it also did not help that DFW airport is so huge. So anyway, by the time I made it to our boarding gate, our plane had already left without us yeah our first international flight and the plane left without us <laughs> so they quickly booked us the next available flight which was in five hours time and so they asked us to sit at the airport and just wait I called my husband who lives two hours from the airport and he decided to just drive to come pick us up. We waited for him and two hours later he was at the airport. Remember our luggage has left with the plane we missed and it was kind of late to pick them so we went home and drove to the airport the next day and found our luggage intact. But all in all, our 24 hours and 30 minutes international flight went well. We had smooth landings and takeoffs, no turbulence. The plane felt so comfortable. I felt like I was in a big room with AC on it. It didn't feel like I was on a plane at all. Share with me in the comment section how your first flight experience was. And if you're yet to experience this, I pray you do so soon. As always, remember to be kind to one another, love one another, and treasure every minute you spend with one another because tomorrow is not promised. Ciao!